descriptive geometry 2e. Okay, in this one we're going to find the true length from some lines. We would need to find the, the length of the two beams because what these drawings match up to is to this little SC8, I don't remember, roll cage, but like a little um, RC car. So this is an example showing you where there's a real world practical application of this. So you're given Here's our isometric with assembly of it. We know we have our prototype. We've figured out we've tested and it works. And here's what each one of the different parts look like. Well, now you're going to have to go to manufacturing. And when you go to manufacturing, you're going to have to be able to measure and cut these to exactly the size you need so the next person in the assembly line can build it. Another reason sometimes you would need to draw a visible diagram to show somebody a reference point. And we're only going to do it for this top view here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to find the true length for the lines of 1 to 3 and 2 to 3. And then I'm going to show you how you would just how you would visually show what they look like here using the um, true length diagram. So it's just a visual representation of what those views are. So you're taking those true lengths and you're putting them together in multiple places. And then it will show you, you'll write the distance down for here. And I'm not going to do all of them, I'm going to let you do parts of it, but I still want to show you how to get started on it. So just like normal, step one is to line it up and tape it down. So we can get some of our vertical lines and our reference points here to use. Tape it down go from there. Okay. Bring again laser light lines. Lightly, lightly draw on everything so I have a point of reference to go from where I'm coming from. All right. Now I'm going to get ready to do the true length diagram here. This distance from here to here is the D1. And so that's what you're going to find. So it's the same distance for both of the pieces. It'll start here and it'll rotate out for it. So just that's your point of reference here. Okay. Oops. Hello. So let's do angle one, two first. So I'm going to line up that line, one, two, correctly, tape it down, make sure it didn't shift on me because I thought it shifted on me, okay, out to here. And then I'm going to draw my parallel line. My point of reference right here. Okay, so I want to find sorry, one to two. So I need to find how far is one here, how far is two from there. And again, if you can't get those from just measuring it, draw your lines to help you draw, get that point. So here's one. draw it graphically. Come here, you. That's that moved on that one. One, two. So I'm gonna take my height, that D1, that's that dimension one. Oops, beating up the camera again. And mark it here. So from here to here is D1. Find that true length of the line here. Find where it meets here. So using the true length diagram and actual true length. This is one to two. And then I'm gonna use my metric scale. I know my 
true length. Is that measuring up from here to here? From here to here? I'll place it on here and find out it is. So each one of these right here, that distance from here to here, is equal to 10 centimeters. So we are looking at 10, 20, 31, 32, 33 centimeters. So the distance to one to two. Thirty-three centimeters. All right, let's go find two to three. Repeat that process. Line that up. Two to three. So I get my parallel line. So point of intersection. perpendicular lines and this is why you draw lightly because they start to get a little crazy and go together don't they okay so three is down full line to here and full line to here and make sure you get the right one because they do start to blend together a little bit here. So this becomes point two, and this one is three. Actually, no. Brain fart. There he goes up here to here. Dang it. Yeah. No. Yeah, two and three. Because three comes up there. Okay, yeah. It's one of those you have to stop and think sometimes. And then, of course, go to your metric scale, place it on there and find out. So we know it's 41, 42, 43, 43 centimeters. Okay, and then what you're gonna need to do on your own I'm not going to show it to you. You're going to have to go do it on your own. You can look at the example, what it should end up looking like. But you want to find your true length of your lines for four, five, four, six, and then tell me using the metric, what does it equivalently, what does that measurement count to be? And again, don't forget to fill out your title block here at the bottom.